Haleluya. Haleluya. You see, if there's a language that we are going to continue to do, it's the language of Haleluya. Yeah, ile lugha ambayo tutakwenda kuendelea kuifanya ni ile lugha ya haleluya. Haleluya simply means Haleluya ina maana ya kwamba you 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 praise and glorify God. Una msifu na kumtukuza Mungu. So this will not stop here on earth. Kwa hiyo hiyo haitakoma hapa duniani. Even in heaven will continue. Hata mbinguni pia tutaendelea. So we have to begin our rehearsals here. Kwa tunatakiwa kufanya mazoezi yetu hapa. Haleluya. 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 Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Praise God. I'm trying to learn Kiswahili. Ah uh, najitahidi kujifundisha Kiswahili. And uh, I know sometimes I may speak Kiswahili so don't be surprised. Ndajua kuna wakati fulani nitajaribu kuongea Kiswahili kwa hiyo usishangae. I'm so happy and humbled to be here. Ah uh, nina furahi na ninahisi unyenyekevu kuwepo hapa. And just to be part of what God is doing kuwa sehemu ya kile ambacho Mungu anafanya through the man of God and his wife kupitia mtumishi wa Mungu na mke wake and the entire leadership of uh, Gospel Assembly Church na uongozi wote wa Gospel Assembly Church and i want you to know that God has you on his heart uh, nataka ninyi mjue ya kwamba Mungu ana ninyi katika moyo wake i am saying nasema God Mungu has you ana ninyi on his heart katika moyo wake So you must understand why you are called Gospel Assembly Church. Kwa hiyo ni lazima muelewe kwa nini mnaitwa Gospel Assembly Church. We thank God for the visitors that have come. Tunamshukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya wale wageni waliokuja. But also this word will be part of you as well. Ah uh, hivyo neno litakuwa sehemu ya ninyi pia. But I'm speaking to Gospel Assembly Church. Na lakini naongea na wale watu wa Gospel Assembly Church. In a few minutes before we go in what God wants us to do. Kwa dakika chache kabla tujakwenda katika kile Mungu anataka niweze kukifanya. You must understand why has God placed you in Gospel Assembly Church. Na nataka uelewe kwa nini Mungu amekuweka ndani ya GAC. You must understand why God has placed you in the church where you belong to as our visitors. Lazima uelewe kwa nini Mungu amekuweka kuwa sehemu ya kanisa hili kama mtu uliyetutembelea. Are we together? Tuko pamoja. Are we together? Tuko pamoja. So Gospel Assembly Church, uh, GAC, you must understand the very first word gospel for you. Lazima uelewe kwa makini ili neno injili maana yake ni nini. When you talk about the gospel, tunapozungumza kuhusu injili, you cannot talk about the gospel without God. Uwezi kuzungumzia injili bila Mungu. You cannot talk about the gospel without Jesus Christ. Uwezi kuzungumzia injili pasipo Yesu Kristo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the gospel will not be complete without you. Na injili haiwezi kukamilika bila wewe. So we have God the Father Tunaye Mungu Baba, God the Son. Tuna Mungu Mwana, God the Holy Spirit. Tuna Mungu Roho Mtakatifu and you. Na wewe. Then the gospel is complete. Kwa hiyo injili inakuwa imekamilika. Can I say that again? Naweza kusema hiyo tena eh? I'm saying, nasema the gospel injili cannot be the gospel haiwezi kuwa injili if God is not there kama Mungu hayuko pale if Jesus Christ is not there kama Yesu hayuko pale if the Holy Spirit is not kama there kama Roho Mtakatifu pale if you are not there kama wewe hauko pale it cannot be the gospel haiwezi kuwa injili hallelujah ah praise god bwana asifiwe so i bring greetings from zambia Ah uh, nimeleta salamu kutoka Zambia. My wife and children we are sending their greetings. Mke wake na watoto wake wametuma salamu. Amen. And by the grace of God, kwa neema ya Mungu, we are serving also in the body of Christ. Tunatumika pia katika mwili wa Kristo. And the church we are serving is called Salvation Gospel Church. Na kanisa tunalotumika naitwa Salvation Gospel Church. Again you see the gospel is there. Oyo pia kuna injili kule. 
Hello? hello. When I say hello, you say hello. hello. Because I want us to go together. Anataka tuende pamoja. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Baba, katika jina la yesu, we want to thank you for this day tuna kwa siku hii, that you saw this day before we were born. Uliona siku hii kabla ijawa. Before we were knitted in our mother's womb, kabla tujatungwa katika matumbo ya mama zetu, you saw the 27th of July. Uliona hii tarehe 27 ya mwezi wa saba, ya tarehe 27 ya mwezi wa saba, 2022. And that we will gather in Morogoro. Kwamba tutakusanyika hapa Morogoro. In this area Kihonda. Eneo hili la Kihonda. In the assembly in the gospel assembly church. Katika GAC kanisa to have a time of fellowship. Kuwepo na kukuwa na muda wa kushirikiana. And for this reason. Kwa sababu hii we ask Father God. Tunakuomba Mungu Baba that you be the alpha wewe uwe mwanzo and the omega na mwisho of our meeting these five days wa mkutano wetu wa siku tano huu and that everything we shall do na kila kitu tutakachokifanya shall be done to your glory kifanyike kwa utukufu in jesus name we pray katika jina la yesu tunaomba amen amen praise god amen bwana yesu asifiwe now in these five days that we are going to have katika hizi siku tano ambazo tutakuwa nazo beginning today kuanzia leo I want you to know something that is very important. Nataka ujue kitu ambacho ni cha umuhimu sana. As my brother was saying Pastor Ayubu, kama kaka yangu alivyokuwa amesema, that today we shall lay the foundation. Leo tutatengeneza msingi. Are we together? Today we shall lay the foundation. Leo tutaweka msingi of whatever will we build on in the next four days. Wa chochote ambacho tutajenga katika siku hizi tano. This foundation must be to every child of God. Ah msingi huu ni lazima uwepo kwa kila mwana wa Mungu. Because without this foundation, kwa sababu bila msingi huu, it will be difficult for you to understand or enjoy your relationship with God. Itakuwa ni vigumu kwako kuelewa na kuburudika na uh, uwepo wa Mungu. Hallelujah. All of us are coming from a place where We have our families. Uh, wote tumetokea katika maeneo ambayo tunazo familia. We will call that as your foundation. Tunaita hiyo kama msingi wetu. Is that okay? Where I come from my mother and father. Kule ninakotokea kwa baba yangu na mama yangu. I will say that is my foundation. Nasema pale ndio msingi wangu, yani chanzo chake. So if you see me today If unaviniona mimi leo it is because of the foundation where I am coming from. Ni kwa sababu ya msingi au chanzo cha kule nilikotokea. Are you with me? Tuko pamoja. By the grace of God we try to teach. Ah kwa neema ya Mungu tutajaribu kufundisha. But also we preach. Hivyo pia tutahubiri pia. Amen. So a foundation is something that is very very important. Kwa hiyo msingi ni kitu ambacho ni cha umuhimu sana sana for anything to progress or to prosper in life kitu chochote ili kiweze kuendelea na kufanikiwa katika maisha you must be able to check its foundation lazima uangalie msingi wake hallelujah because a foundation that is not firm uh, uh, kwa sababu msingi wowote ambao haujakamilika a foundation that is not strong uh, msingi wowote ambao sio imara It means whatever you build on top of that foundation. Ina maana ya kwamba chochote utakachojenga juu ya huo msingi. We will not survive the test of time. Haiwezi haiwezi uh, kuhimili wakati wa taabu. Because the wind will blow kwa sababu upepo utavuma. The rains will fall na mvua itanyesha. The sun will come na jua litakuja. And so if the foundation is not strong kama msingi sio imara it means whatever is built on top of that foundation inamaanisha chochote kilichojengwa juu ya huo msingi will quake crumble and be destroyed itasababisha uh, uh, mpasuko na na kuanguka kabisa so i want you i want to take you to this foundation that is very very important for you and me nataka kukuletea huo msingi ambao ni muhimu sana kwako na kwangu pia especially with the believers the children of god 
Uh, 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 and so this foundation is the word of God. Turn to your neighbor and say the word of God. Speak to your neighbor and say the word of God. I want you to speak to them with boldness and say the word of God. I want you to speak again in Kiswahili. Sema tena neno la Mungu. Again. Now, from the very beginning of whatever we see and whatever we do not see with our eyes, katika chanzo cha chochote unachokiona katika macho yetu ya nyama, it all began in God. Yote yalianza na Mungu. And in the beginning we discover that God spoke Na tunaona katika mwanzo Mungu ali, aliongea alisema Hello Are you with me In Genesis chapter 1 verses 1 Katika kitabu cha mwanzo sura ya kwanza mstari wa kwanza What does your Bible say Biblia yako inasemaje It says in the beginning Inasema hapo mwanzo God Mungu Hello It says God Inasema Mungu made aliumba but what did God use to make or to create things? Lakini Mungu alitumia nini kutengeneza hivi vitu? The Bible says God spoke. Biblia nasema Mungu akasema. Let there be light. Akasema kuwe nuru and there was light. Na nuru ikatokea. If that is in your Bible say amen. Kama hiyo iko ndani ya Biblia yako sema amen. If you check in your Bible it says and God said Na ukiangalia katika Biblia yako nasema Mungu akasema and when God spoke na Mungu aliposema things began vitu vikaanza We are in the foundation Tuko katika msingi because once we have the foundation of the word of God kwa sababu vile tukiwa na msingi wa neno la Mungu whatever you encounter in this life chochote utakachokutana nacho katika maisha as a child of God kama mwana wa Mungu you will never be shaken hautatingishwa hautatikisika because your foundation kwa sababu msingi wako is firm ume umethibitishwa the Bible says the word of God cannot be broken. Biblia inasema neno la Mungu aliwezi kujigawanya, aliwezi kupasuka. So if the word of God is your foundation, kwa hiyo neno la Mungu likiwa msingi wako, I want you to to follow me. If the word of God is your foundation, kama neno la Mungu ni msingi wako, and the word of God cannot be broken. Na kama neno la Mungu aliwezi kuvunjika, is it possible that your life can be broken? Hiyo inawezekana kweli maisha yako atapasuka? They say no. You must understand me closely. Lazima unielewe kwa ukaribu. That's why I thank God you came. Kwa hiyo nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu umekuja. And some of you now are, wi are wishing and they are saying, ah, I wish my brother was here to listen to this. Uh, wengine tayari mmeshaanza kusema kwamba oh natamani ndugu yangu angekuepo hapa ili aweze kusikia hii Some of you in your hearts are saying I wish my all oh, my children were here to listen to this Wengine wenu mnasema ah natamani mwanangu angekuepo ili kwamba aweze kusikia hii But thank God you are here Lakini shukuru Mungu kwamba uko hapa Haleluya 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 Because out of you kwa, kwa sababu kutokea kutokea kwako wewe and through you Na kupitia wewe God will be able to touch them as well. Mungu ataweza kuagusa na hao pia. Because you will not you will not keep this word to yourself. Kwa sababu hautaweza kulihifadhi neno hili kwa ajili yako tu. Because I know what the word of God can do. Kwa sababu ninajua neno la Mungu linaweza kufanya nini. Jeremiah says is the word of God not like a fire? Uh, Yeremia anasema je neno la Mungu si kama moto? Is the word of of God not like a hammer that breaks the rock to pieces. Je, neno la Mungu si kama nyundo linaloweza kubomoa au kuharibu milima. You cannot have the word of God and your life remains the same. Uwezi kuwa na neno la Mungu alafu maisha yako yabaki kama ilivyokuwa. 
you you cannot separate god from his word uwezi kumtenganisha mungu na neno lake you cannot uwezi so if your foundation is the word of god Ka, kwa hiyo kama msingi wako ni neno la mungu my brother my sister dada yangu na kaka yangu no matter what the enemy is throwing at you haijalishi adui ataleta nini atatupa nini kwako no matter the changamoto that you encounter in life haijalishi challenge ambayo utakutana nayo you will not give up hautakata tamaa you will not run away hautakimbia because you have a firm foundation kwa sababu una msingi uliothibitika are you following me unani tunafuata pamoja now let us go to isaiah 55 twende katika isaya sura ya 55 and let's go there quickly twende pale kwa haraka Isaiah 55 Isaiah sura ya 55 We are going to read from verses 10 to 11 Tutasoma mstari wa 10 mpaka mstari wa 11 Isaiah 55 Isaiah sura ya 55 We shall read from verses 10 to 11 Tutasoma mstari wa 10 hadi wa 11 So I'll allow my brother is that Kiswahili Yes yes So my brother will read for us in Kiswahili tutasoma katika Biblia ya Kiswahili and i want us to follow him usikilize Biblia inasema maana kama vile mvua ishukavyo na theluji mm-hmm. kutoka mbinguni wala haitarudi huko bali uinywesha ardhi na kuizalisha na kuichipuza ikampa mtu apandaye mbegu na mtu alaye chakula ndivyo litakavyokuwa neno langu litokalo katika kinywa changu halitanirudia bure bali litatimiza mapenzi yangu nalo litafanikiwa katika mambo yale niliyolituma haleluya haleluya I, I, i don't know if you have followed in kiswahili uh, sidhani kama uh, si, sina uhakika kama mmefuata kwa kiswahili The Bible says for as the rains come down from the heavens. Biblia nasema maana kama vile mvua ishukavyo kutoka mbinguni and the snow falls from heaven na theluji kutoka mbinguni and watereth the earth. Wala uh, wala airudi huko bali kunyeshea ardhi and make it bring forth bud to flourish na kuizalisha na kuichipuza and that it gives seed to the sower ikampa mtu apandaye mbegu and bread to the eater na mtu alaye chakula verses 10 only hiyo ni mstari wa 10 pekee the bible says as the rains come down from heaven biblia inasema kama mvua itokavyo mbinguni and in other places in the world they, they, they have what is called snow Uh, na katika sehemu nyingine ya ulimwengu huu wana kitu kinachoitwa eh, barafu. The Bible says when the rains fall from heaven to the ground. Uh, Biblia nasema mvua inanyesha kutoka mbinguni kuja katika ardhi. It makes the ground to begin to produce. Inaifanya ardhi iweze kuwa na uwezo wa kuzalisha. And the ground will begin to produce seed. Na ardhi inakuwa na uwezo wa kuzalisha mbegu. Seed to the sower, uh, mbegu kwa mpandaji and bread to the eater. Na mkate kwa yeye alaye. Hallelujah. How many of us have seen rain before? Na wangapi tumewahi kuona mvua kabla? Yaani mtu aliyewahi kuona mvua. How many of us have never seen rain? Rain. Wangapi ambao hawajawahi kuona mvua? Okay if you have seen rain before lift up your hand and just Kama like kuona mvua kabla nyosha mkono wako juu. Jamani hamjawahi kuona mvua. I am mvua. saying if you have seen rain rain rain. Kama umewahi kuona mvua nyosha mkono wako juu. Kwani kuna uzito gani? like this if you have seen rain. Umewahi kuona mvua? All of us have seen rain. Wote tumewahi kuona mvua? Is that true? Ni kweli kabisa? I don't doubt is that true? Ni kweli? That is true isn't it? So now when the rains are falling and the ground is dry what happens to the ground? Na mvua inaponyesha ikiwa ardhi iko kavu nini kinatokea katika ardhi? Speak out speak out feel free to speak out uh huh They say the ground becomes wet The ground becomes wet, wet. Are we together? Ardhi inakuwa inaloa because the rains have what 
fallen. Kwa sababu mvua imeshuka. So what is the purpose of the rain? Nini kusudi sasa la mvua? Is to make the ground wet. Ni kuifanya ardhi iweze kuwa na unyevu. I have never seen a place where the rains have fallen heavily. Sijawahi kuona mvua wakati inaposhuka kutoka mbinguni. And the land remains dry na, as dry as it can. Na ardhi ibaki kuwa kavu na kavu kama vile ilivyokuwa. Then there's something wrong. Lazima kutakuwa na kuna kitu akiko sawa. Or maybe somebody put something to hinder the rain from reaching the ground. Na hakuna namna ambavyo mtu anaweza ku, uh, ku, ku, kuweka kitu ili kuzuia mvua isikuje kwenye ardhi. All of us have experienced the results of when the rains will fall and what happens to the ground. Wote tunajua matokeo ya wakati mvua inaposhuka na kile kinachotokea kwenye ardhi. Suddenly after a few days uh, gafla baada ya, ya siku chache a place where there was total it was dry and there was lifeless eneo lile ambalo tulikuwa tunaona liko kavu na katika hali ya ukame namna hiyo then suddenly you begin to see things coming out of the ground gafla tunaanza kuona vitu vinaanza kuota katika ardhi something begins to come out from the ground tunaanza kuona vitu vinatokeza katika juu ya ardhi Why because the rains have fallen. Kwa sababu gani? Kwa sababu mvua imeshuka katika ardhi. We are given an illustration in Isaiah 55 verses 10. Tunaona katika uh, katika Isaya sura ya 55 mstari wa 10. And this time God is speaking to Israel. Na wakati huu Mungu alikuwa anasema na Israel. He's speaking through the prophet Isaiah. Anaongea kupitia uh, nabii uh, Isaya what his word can do kile ambacho neno lake kinaweza kufanya tend your neighbor and say the word of god mwambie jirani yako neno la mungu again say the word of god mwambie tena neno la mungu is the foundation of my life ni msingi wa maisha yangu again say the word of god Sem-